Cuisine Korea, happy journey of delicious taste. Once again, we'll be guiding you to a world of special taste. The first place we'll be visiting is a traditional Korean restaurant called Gwangasong Sotte, a place where they have good food and lots of things to see. I'll be your guide. In world food, we'll be introducing some smooth tasting Italian food. It's Suare, an Italian restaurant that reminds you of a quiet countryside. This place is live with nature and we'll be introducing to you different Italian dishes that are served right here. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi, your guide to a world of delicious taste. There's a saying in Korea that we should learn something new from something old. And I think this has great value. Behind all new things, there seems to be an underlining history to it. Tradition plays a key role in forming a solid foundation for practically everything. Today, I'm going to guide us to a place that seems to have turned back the hands of time. Please join me. The traditional restaurant Kwangasong Sotte is located in Kimpo of Gyeonggi Province. Take the number 48 National Road and go towards Kwanghwa. After passing by the Tongji Myung signboard, you'll soon discover the restaurant. Look for the traditional guard that stands at the entrance. A place alive with the style and taste of tradition. Go through the entrance where the statue of the traditional guard stand and you'll be in front of the yard of Kwangasong Sotte. As soon as you enter, you'll see old interesting farming equipments. Now that we've had a good look, shall we go inside? The brown color interior creates a classic atmosphere. The wooden tables around the restaurant seems to have come straight from the past, and the traditional artifacts in various corners demonstrate the detailed care of the owner. Not only that, in comfortable rooms decorated with folding screens, you can entertain important guests. The interior, which seems to be coming straight from the past, a meal here would certainly be special. Kongasong Sotte provides satisfaction with their special taste and good service. They indeed serve a full meal. Doesn't it look delicious? I wonder what the customers think about the food here. Sotte입니다. The dishes that we'll be enjoying in this place of abundance. I'm thinking about which delicacies to enjoy. It's not easy, but I have to choose. The menus that I've chosen for today are these. I introduce you our chef, who will be making the menus that I have chosen. With a seven-year experience, this main chef cooks up dishes filled with care. The delicacies that are rich but taste light at the same time. Shall we go and see? 첫 번째 요리는 불낙새 전골인데요. 어, 이름이 참 특이한데 어떤 의미가 있나요? 네, 불낙새 전골은요. 불고기와 낙지, 새우, 그리고 버섯과 여러 가지 여러 가지 야채를 만들어서 하는 요리인데요. 맛이 좀 담백하고 얼큰해서 손님들한테 인기가 아주 좋습니다. Mm. Okay, the name sounds unique enough. Let's see how unique the dish turns out. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Today's stars are bulgogi, octopus, and shrimps. We also need various ingredients that add to their taste. Cut mushrooms into suitable sizes and prepare. A savory taste is created through diverse mushrooms and its fragrant smell. Next, it's time to take care of the vegetables. They're vital ingredients for making refreshing soup. Vegetables are cut into suitable sizes. It would be good to cut and add some tofu. 
They are the main ingredients for today. Cut octopus into long pieces to maintain chewiness. Cut beef into suitable sizes so that seasoning can seep through easily. Now that the ingredients are all ready, shall we get on with cooking? First, cover the bottom of the pan with radish and onions. Next, add seasoning sauce. We're letting you on the secret recipe. To prepare the seasoning sauce for the spicy pulakse chonggor, spring onions, garlic, and grated ginger are used. Put them in one after the other. Add taste with Cheongju rice wine and soy sauce and also some black pepper. Now red pepper is a must to create that spicy taste. Finally, add sweet starch syrup and mix well. This is the completed seasoning sauce. Now it's time to add ingredients that have been cut and prepared. Place vegetables, mushrooms, and tofu around in a circle. They fill up the pan nicely, don't they? Now then, it's time to add the main ingredients. Place beef, octopus, and shrimp at the center of the pan decoratively. Finally, add an egg which makes the dish look even more delicious. Stock will be added to the pan with different ingredients and we should take a look at how the stock is made. Ingredients for the stock are kelp, spring onions, potato, onions, and so on. Cut them into large pieces and boil everything together. Fifteen minutes is just about right to bring out the refreshing taste. Pour the stock and boil the whole thing together and the spicy pulakse chonggor is complete. Use some fully grown todok and also ingredients for the sauce that will also add to its taste. Peel the skin and clean the todok carefully. Do you see how white it is? and cut the todok in half. Prepare several in this way. In order to have the seasoning seep through, they need to be made flat. Hammer and roll out to flatten them. Seasoning sauce is made with sesame oil and soy sauce, and todok is placed in for the fragrance to seep through. It's time to grill the todok. Place them on a grid and cook over the fire. Cook until it turns brownish and then layer the todok with sauce. In order to make the sauce that are spread over the todok, check carefully the ingredients that are added to the red pepper paste sauce. The ingredients are added one by one, and red pepper paste is the most important ingredient. Add sesame seeds and some sesame oil and mix. The spicy and roasty sauce is complete. Layer the todok thoroughly with sauce and cook once again over fire. 10 minutes is just about right. Don't they look nice? Place them neatly on a plate and garnish with sesame seeds and grated spring onions and it's ready. The chef put in a lot of effort creating these dishes. Now I'll do my job in tasting them. 
Wow, just look at all of this. Wow, the ingredients are so fresh. And the soup, it has a spiciness that's very soothing. Mmm. Now for my grilled product. Mmm, it's very crunchy. And there's an aroma of the sesame oil. Mmm, and the special sauce that he put on. It's spicy, but very, very good. These are the delicacies of Kangasong Sotte, alive with traditional taste of Korea. It's a full table. Shall we take a closer look? This is a special dish with a rice taste that melts right in your mouth. Rich with nutrition, it's good for the stamina. I think I can actually see the lightness taste of the fish. It's a dish made with the greatest care. The salty meat of the crabs will stimulate anyone's appetite. The fresh seafood ingredients are the specialty of this menu. Harmonizing with spring onions, it creates a savory taste. Very pretty, isn't it? It's pretty as it looks, and the chewy taste is quite fantastic. Can you see the grace of this royal dish? It's a popular menu for its nutrition and wonderful taste. I don't think you can ask for more when you can enjoy nine different tastes at the same time. Why don't you experience them for yourself? The same dish can be good for someone and bad for someone else according to his or her physical constitution. I wonder what types of food are good for me. Let's go find out. In Korea, a person's physical type is divided into four different categories. We'll be finding out how food acts for different people. This is called Sasang Medicine. Mr. Yi Jae-ma is the creator of Sasang Medicine who used to live 150 years ago. His findings are recorded in his book, Tongye Su Sebowon. In order to find out more about Sazang Medicine, we visited an Oriental Medicine Hospital. Sazang 약은 그 사람마다 네 가지 체질이 있다고 나누고 그 체질에 따라서 그 병을 치료하는 의학입니다. Tangyin types generally has a weak liver, so smoking and alcohol drinking should be forbidden. White rice and clam stew are good, and they should eat buckwheat jelly and celery often. In the summer, cool naengmyeon is especially good for them. Among taemin, there are many who are overweight and they need to sweat a lot. Greens such as balloon flower roots, spinach, and dishes using tofu are beneficial to this type. These are the dishes protecting the health of soyangin. This type has lots of body heat, so they need to take in the cool types of food. Not only pork and duck, but eels are a good idea. Eggs and seafood such as fresh oyster, shrimps are helpful. Soyamin generally have a weak digestive system, so it's best to avoid food that are hard to digest. This type will enjoy chicken dishes and samgyetang. Fish dishes are also good for those who fall under this category. 음식을 평소에 잘 먹게 되면은 자신의 건강을 꾸준하게 유지할 수 있는 좋은 방법입니다. This place where I'm taking a walk right now is called the Stone Wall Road of Gyeongbukgung, a palace that was built during the Joseon Dynasty. Across from the palace, you will find many different art galleries. Now, the place where you could taste true Italian food. That is the location for today's world food. Why don't you come with me? We are at Chongno, an area breathing with traditions of Korea. And this is the place where Suare is located. At the back gate of Gyeongbukgung Palace, there is a row lined up with galleries. Go up the road and you'll find Jinsungbu Cafe. Turn right and go about 30 meters and you will see a red building where Suare is located. 
Suada is an Italian restaurant where you can taste different kinds of Italian food. The subtle red building catches the eyes of bypassers. It has a little bit of an exotic atmosphere, doesn't it? Here, you can enjoy some delicious food in an atmosphere that reminds you of a peaceful countryside. Then, shall we go and experience the great taste of Italian food? These are the delicacies of Suare. Shall we take a look? The harmony of fresh and crispy salad and tender chicken. We will feel the freshness filling up your mouth. It is a menu alive with the taste of butter, cream, and Parmesan cheese. It goes well with the subtle fragrance of garlic. This dish is filled with fresh seafood. Looks very fulfilling, doesn't it? The taste is even more satisfactory. Can you feel the fragrance of saffron sauce? We invite you to its fragrant taste. This spaghetti is decorated with flying fish eggs that burst in your mouth. It is very popular among customers who enjoy smooth tasting dishes. Smooth cream sauce and chewy pasta, topped with savory shrimps. It simply makes my mouth water. Cakes that melt right in your mouth. The rich and sweet chocolate cheese and cheese mousse cake are very popular here. The delicacies of Suare boasting of taste of tradition. Did you enjoy its banquet of delicious food? Now it is time to take a trip to that place where you can actually taste those delicacies. As we enter the restaurant, we can feel an overall cozy atmosphere. Decorated with ivory-colored wood, it seems as if we are in an Italian countryside. The wide windows with a clear view to outside are especially popular among customers, and the little flower pots and flowers placed around the restaurants create a cozy and comfortable atmosphere. Now, shall we go into the hall? Inside the hall, there is a deli shop at a corner. They sell carefully baked cakes, and with so many different kinds to choose from, they allow you to enjoy a different kind of pleasure. When we talk about Italian food, we can't leave out the wines. At the entrance, wines that go well with Italian food are on display so that customers can choose their wine of choice with more ease. The second floor has a rather different atmosphere from the first floor. The simple tables covered with white cloth make everything look neat and tidy. It is quaintly attractive and especially good for enjoying an affectionate meal with a loved one. There are two small rooms available, suitable for those wanting to host gatherings in a natural atmosphere. I think it would be a good place for strengthening friendship. I guess now we should actually cook some of the food served here. I introduce you the main chef of Suare. With a stubborn pride that only adheres to traditional Italian food and seven-year experience, he will be introducing some delicious Italian tastes. 네, 오늘의 요리에 대해서 좀 말씀해 주세요. 예, 오늘 소개시켜 드릴 요리는요. 해물 리조또하고 봉골레 비앙코입니다. 첫 번째 요리에 대해서 설명 좀 해주시겠어요? 예, 해물 젓도는요 신선한 해물들이 아주 많이 들어간 담백하고 영양가 많은 이탈리아 전통 요리입니다. It is a menu filled with fresh seafood. Seafood ingredients are prepared, and so are the sauce ingredients for the topping. First, butter rice must be prepared. Melt smooth butter in olive oil and fry the grated seasonings in it.
When the seasoning is cooking, add raw rice, and we need to add moisture for the rice to cook. Next, add some spices to taste and fry well, and butter rice is complete. Simple ingredients are added first to olive oil to bring out a subtle fragrance. Next, add the prepared seafood one by one. Can you see the freshness of the ingredients? Add basil powder and white wine and tomato sauce are added next. Now, the taste of seafood risotto is being created one after the other. Finally, parsley powder is used to add fragrance. After boiling down for a while, seafood ingredients are taken out. But this is not the end. In the boiled down sauce, butter rice is added and fried. Sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese to strengthen that savory taste. Place attractively on a plate and garnish it with more parsley, and seafood risotto is complete. The first dish is the spaghetti. The spaghetti is the most important thing to make the spaghetti. Yes, that's right. The spaghetti is the most important thing to make the spaghetti. 스파게티 면이 가장 잘 삶아진 때는 가운데 흰 심이 없을 때가 가장 좋을 때입니다. Next, we'll be making spaghetti made with short neck clams. We need to use fresh clams, of course, and spaghetti pastas are prepared. We will first make the short neck clam stock. Clams are added to water and boiled sufficiently to bring out their savory taste. When fragrance is added with white wine and bay tree leaves, a more delicious stock will be ready. Next, we will be preparing some chewy spaghetti pasta. I guess you all know that the most important thing here is how you boil the pasta. It is important to remember to boil until the white core in the center disappears. Fresh basil leaves that go well with subtle garlic fragrance are added and fried lightly. Next, the main ingredient, the short neck clams, are added. They must, of course, be fresh and boiled until the clams open up. Other ingredients are added one by one, and spaghetti pasta cooked just right is added and fried as well. This way, Bongole Bianco spaghetti is finished. The menus of suare are prepared with the greatest care, giving attention to tradition. This is probably why the restaurant has many faithful customers. The neat and cozy atmosphere certainly enhances the enjoyment of the food. Besides delicious food, another reason why so many customers visit the restaurant is because there are many different dishes to choose from. It seems the wider selection available here allows for a more satisfactory meal. Here's the cream sauce. I like 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 the cream sauce. 크림 스파게티 많이 먹고요. 그리고 해물 들어간 음식을 좋아하거든요. 그러니까 새우 크림 스파게티를 좀 자주 먹는 편이에요. 맛도 좋고 분위기 좋고 뭐 같이 좋아하는 사람이 안 사서 먹으면 되게 좋은 것 같아요. An enjoyable meal. Seafood risotto and Vongole Bianco spaghetti that we prepared and enjoyed cooking are also my favorite. The harmony between fresh seafood and tomato sauce tastes very refreshing, and the smooth butter rice is very savory. As for Vongole Bianco spaghetti, they have boiled the pasta just right, and it is exhilarating to enjoy chewy pasta together with the smooth sauce.
Shall I tell you about a good way to change your mood? I guess it's different for everybody, but for me, if I throw all my worries away, I feel a lot better. If you concentrate on your hobby or on your work, I'm sure you feel a lot better too. I hope you were able to forget about your troubles today with us at Cuisine Korea. That is all for today, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.